Hello everyone and welcome to your English lesson for today. So our word of the day is perseverance, okay? And this is persistence in, do in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Now, I think this is something all of us have shown, okay? Whilst writing these speeches, you have definitely shown perseverance. You've been fantastic, okay? It's been a long process and you've kept going. You've <laughs> turned up every day and you've been writing some fantastic sentences trying your best, so well done. And the nice thing is I also noticed some of you actually included perseverance in your speech when describing your qualities, which was really nice to see, okay? A great word to use, well done. Now, our learning objective for today. So as you know, this is the last uh, writing lesson today, okay? As a writer, can I create a powerful conclusion to my persuasive speech? So what do we mean by conclusion? Well, you've almost made it to the end, okay? Now, and the conclusion is the final idea left in the readers, or in our case, the listeners or audience's mind, okay? And within a speech, you should aim to summarize what you have discussed before finishing with a memorable phrase or sentence that stays with your audience long after you've finished speaking, okay? So what I'm trying to get across to you today is it's so important. This is particularly your last line, sentence 20 is going to be, it needs to be the best sentence you've written so far, okay? It's so important to finish on a high, because as you know, listening to someone, you, you tend to focus really carefully in, in the opening, you then try your best to carry on listening at the in the middle, and then right at the end, you, you tend to perk up again and listen, and it's that, they're the things that tend to stick in people's minds, okay? It's the beginnings and the endings. You, you hook them in at the beginning, and then you just leave them with just in amazement with the ending, okay? So it's really important to get these last few sentences absolutely spot on. And I want you today to take a lot of time over these, okay? Don't rush them, go slow and make them as good as you can possibly make them, all right? Please do, it's worth it. There's only three, so you've got time, just make them brilliant, all right? So, things to avoid. Now, there are some common things to avoid in conclusions across the board when writing, not just persuasive speeches, okay? And one of these is introducing any new points or ideas. So this, why this is an issue is if you introduce a new point or an idea in a conclusion, you haven't had time to explain it and you, you won't have time because you're about to finish. <laughs> so you basically introduce a new point and then you go, right, uh, I'm off now, I'll see you later, bye-bye. And the, the audience is left being like, wait, what? why did he just, or why did she just say that? Like, it, so don't bring in anything new. Remember, the reason why you, in paragraph two and three and four, I gave you the point evidence explained was that, so as soon as we introduce a new point, we gave evidence and then we explained it. So we, we basically clarified any misunderstandings of our, our audience. But if you just bring in something completely random at the end, <laughs> it's just gonna confuse the audience, okay? So stick to what you know and summarize what you have done, okay? And reinforce what message you're trying to get across. That's what a good conclusion will do. And another thing to avoid is making it too long, okay? You want it to be snappy. You don't want to sort of be right, in summary, and then 10 minutes later, you're still here summarizing. It's like, it, at that point, it's not really a summary anymore, is it, okay? It's basically become another speech. So keep it short and snappy, and that's really effective, okay? And then the last thing is being too over the top. And this is more particularly for um, our persuasive things, okay? You don't just wanna go crazy right at the end. Having, having written a really measured, you know, persuasive speech that is appropriate and uh, to the circumstances. You don't just want to at the end go, Dr. Drax, you're the most amazing, incredible, and extraordinary, lovely person I've ever seen, okay? Because it's just not, it doesn't fit in with our mature writing that we've done throughout, okay? So keep, obviously you still use those persuasive adjectives and you still thank her and you still say how much you admire her, but you keep it at a sensible, mature level. You don't just go crazy right at the end, okay? Don't spoil it. And then the other thing I will say is the other, the other way you could spoil it is if you, I've spoken later on when I introduced sentence 20 about rhetorical questions and how some people do think it can be an effective way to end a speech. But at the same time, you need to be so careful because you can spoil the whole thing by, it's quite an aggressive way to finish. Well, what are you waiting for? Choose me. And, it, and you need to be really sure and confident in your use of that, okay? But I explained that in sentence 20, so don't worry too much about that for now. Now, your speech. So we'll be writing paragraph five of the speech and this is our conclusion, okay? It will contain three sentences, so 18, 19, 20, all right? And there will be, once again, as always, a specific objective for each sentence that will be explained before you write it. Now, I didn't get you to plan this conclusion because I wanted you to, before you 
write this, I wanted you to be fully immersed in your speech, okay? But if you notice, and I did say right at the start that actually paragraph one has pretty much everything you would need for this conclusion anyway, okay? So here we've got praising Dr. Drax, we've got praising the infinity park, okay? We've got all of these things. So you can use what you did here, all right? For example, sentence 19 is gonna ask you to thank Dr. Drax for everything she's done. So you, you can use your notes from this, okay? And remember, this is help. This is gonna help you because it's tying in that emotional hook. We started off, this was our beginning, wasn't it? We gave her these amazing stories about space and adventure and showed how we were born for this mission. We were always ready for this and this we are the ideal person, okay? That's exactly what we're tying together now with, with our conclusion, okay? So use this, this as to help you, all right? And obviously my sentences will guide you too. So there is no separate paragraph five planning sheet because I just don't think we need it. And I think we've already got that and we've, we're so in tune with what we need to write now, I think we can just do it, okay? So that's why, in case you were wondering where the planning sheet is. <laughs> now, same as always, if possible, carry on doing what you're doing. I'm going to uh, uh, upload a separate video later um, either today or tomorrow, which is going to explain how I want you to write these up in best. Okay, I'm not going to do this now because I'd rather you just got on with the conclusion, but there is a specific way I want to write it up and we do need to be careful because I've kind of given you free reign to write however you want with these sentences. When we write up in best, I want it in a very specific format. Okay, so but I will explain that to you. So please don't start writing up in best, but you will be able to once I've uploaded that video. Okay, so and yeah, keep, keep going with the numbering sentences, really good, whatever works for you for now, just getting your ideas down, okay? And it's gonna contain three, uh, your conclusion will contain three main elements. So one sentence to introduce and summarize your speech, one sentence to express your thanks, thanks to Dr. Jax, and then one sentence that ensures you finish on the high, okay? And like I say, try and make this one the best sentence out of the whole thing. And same as, same as always, Bronze is all three sentences using my, um, my starters and my prompts. Silver is some of the starters and prompts and gold is all your own ideas. Okay, right, best of luck.